Hi and welcome to this short video um, demonstrating the versatility of the latest production from Argyle Equestrian Transport. This is the workhorse. Now the workhorse is a van during the week and a horse box if and when it is required. This gives you the benefit of having two vans um, and having the outlay for only one. Enjoy the rest of the programme. As you can see, opening the horse box is simplicity in itself. The top hatch has got twin gas struts and that supports the weight of the top hatch and also makes it easier to open. The bottom hatch has got uh, spring assist and is covered in heavy duty rubber, as is the interior of the van itself. Now the the van, when it's operating normally, just looks like an ordinary van. Opening. Now conversion from a horse box to a van does not take very long at all, as our intrepid demonstrator here is going to show us. First thing you do is you open the divider. Now by means of one slip bolt, you undo that. The fixed pin lifts out from the bottom and allows you to remove the divider from the van. Now already you could use this as a separated van with the breast bar in place. Now the breast bar is um, on a hinged system so that you could, in the event of an emergency, remove it to allow egress from the vehicle via the rear doors. This is very important if you are in a situation where um, for any reason you could not open the side doors to get the horses out. This has caused um, terrible tragedies um, in the past year or so um, on a couple of occasions. Now if we open the back door you will see that the van is more or less usable as is. Now there are two small frames, one either side. These can be removed if you wish. If you want to go the whole hog, you can remove these. These are removed by means of two M10 bolts which are bolted into steel um, plates in the side of the van which have been welded into the side of the van prior to the coverings going on. Not being the most adept, uh, this is a good demonstration. So you just release the two bolts. Now the frames, the one that's being worked on at the present moment in time, is actually the the one that the slip bolt from the breast bar goes into. Now as well as having a bolt into each side of the van into pre-welded heavyweight steel plates to provide the, the, the strength and security, the door can be just closed over and the slip bolt so you can open and close this the breast bar partition at any time. A beautiful assistant here, haha, <laughs> um, is just unbolting the second panel, nearly there. As you can see, converting from a horse box to a van is approximately five minutes work. So we're not talking about uh, having to spend two hours or three hours struggling with massive amounts of conversion. This is as we say, very versatile, very quick to change over from one to the other. Now we're going to change it from the horse box, as I said, to the van, and then for completeness, so it show it's not a one way easy and one way is difficult, we will be putting it all back together from whence we, we started.
almost there. There we go, that's the other panel out. Now this van is very tall, um, as normal working vans go. As you can see, there are fiberglass covers over the wheel arches, so to not get any damage on them. The floor matting, the heavy duty, the heavy duty rubber floor matting, can be removed from the horse um, area. Now with the side doors closed, there you have fully operational high top long wheelbase um, van for general purpose use. Now, well, we get it all back together again. Just open the back door so you can see what's happening. Right now, we open the side doors just to let some light in so you can get a better view. Now if you take the the flooring uh, out, you have got steel floor, then half inch plywood. That half inch plywood has then been resin bonded and there are fiberglass strips over all joints on the flooring. The plywood has been resined. The wall panels are all plywood and they are bonded with fiberglass tape to the floor area and the walls were resin bonded up to um, a height of 300mm. So basically the floor in the horse section of the van is fully tanked. So you could take the floor mats out and if you've had um, a horse that's been let's say less than um, if you've got smelly stuff, you can wash it out. There is not a problem. So when you're using the van during the week, you don't have any unpleasant odours or anything else. Now, with the rubber in, it's perfectly usable. So you have the option. The rubber on the floor is not stuck down. It's fitted and it does not move. But if you wish to take the panels, it comes in two panels and is easily removable. The line the lining in the van is rubber in the horse area, uh, with vinyl over all other uh, bulkheads. The windows at the back of the van also lock, so they're not they are quite secure. These could have um, film fitted to prevent anybody seeing into the van, should you wish some further security. Now if you could imagine having a van for general purpose use with a side door the size of this one, um, it would make getting bulky items in and out of the van so much easier. It also allows for, um, because it is on the on the pavement side of the, the van, it allows direct access into the back of the vehicle. So you could theoretically use the vehicle for, um, for a small workshop or something similar. You could use it for presentation. Um, if you're going to do something at a, like a farmer's market or something similar, you could use the horse box with the all the ancillary items removed and gives you a pleasant working environment. If you were using it for deliveries, could you imagine how easy it would be to find packages, parcels, etc. Right, our intrepid assistant here is getting the second panel in. The panel he's putting in just now is the hinge panel for the for the breast bar bulkhead. The breast bar is on pin hinges so it basically just lifts off lifts off the hinges. There's no necessity to have spanners or bolts or anything else. 
when the breast bar bulkhead is in position, there are three slip bolts, three heavy duty slip bolts. These are the ones that um, large commercial trucks use for um, cattle transport, etc. They are sprung mounted, so they will not work their way loose. They won't flip out and suddenly open on you. Um, you will see shortly. Here we come. This is the, the breast bar divider. As you can see, fitting it back onto the frame is simplicity in itself. He's managed it. Right, so you close that, put the slip bolt across. Now that's the one that you can use just for, if you want to just use it as a door. If you've got horses in, please put the two on that he is using just now. Those fit into um, very strong steel plates welded into the structure of the van. Now I'll move around to the side to make it a bit easier for you to see the the divider going back in. The divider is uh, steel steel framed, plywood faced and rubber on the face of the plywood so there's no sharp edges um, on the divider and it allows for adjustment as well. There are several positions so you can adjust it for width. And just close the back doors. As I said one hand operation for lifting the bottom of hatch because it is spring spring assisted. Pull down, tuck in the rope and ta-ra! That's it. Thank you very much. Any further information you require please leave us a message here or contact us via email at info at aet.me.uk Thank you very much for your time.